Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another installment in my decluttering series. I like loved decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. I felt so good. And then I bought 85,000 more eyeshadow palettes, so my jaw is full again. But anyway, I have tons of skincare in my bottom drawer of my vanity, and I've decided that I'm going to declutter it, and then I'm going to take everything out of the drawer and put it in a basket in my bathroom. That way I have a second drawer down here for more palettes, whether they be face palettes or eyeshadow palettes or whatever, because my palette drawer is just crazy full right now. So, let's just jump in, shall we? By the way, if you guys are interested in this makeup look, go ahead and click right there right now. I'm going to link the video where I did this eye makeup. Super affordable, super awesome, super easy. I love it. I'm giving myself mermaid vibes. Okay, so I grabbed some stuff right off the top of the draw, and I'm going to do this the same way I did with my eyeshadow palettes. Instead of, like, showing you the draw, I'm just going to talk to the camera this way. I kind of prefer these kind of videos. Let me know, though, do you guys prefer them like this, or you like them better where you can see the draw and my hands, like, pulling stuff out and not see my face, but just hear my voice. So let me know what you guys like, and that's how I'll do my next declutter video. But anyway, let's get started. I don't want this to be 85,000 years long. The first thing that I pulled out is my Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. I use this every night. It's on top because I've been using it, obviously, so I am going to keep that. I also have my Yes to Cucumbers Soothing for Sensitive Skin Cooling Mud Mask. I hauled this in my last video. And I've only used it about twice. I haven't had a reaction to it or anything. I just don't do masks all that often. But I am going to hold on to this because I like this and it's super convenient because all you have to do is like use this little roller ball and you don't have to get tons of stuff dirty. You know? Next, I have my Mary Kay Timewise Age Fighting Moisturizer. I've been using this every day. Like during the day, I ran out of my vitamin C serum. So I've been using this. Not in place of it, but kind of as the product that I apply to my skin in the morning when I wake up. And I have been loving it. And I also have my Curology. I don't know if you guys know, but I do use Curology and it does work. This is my third bottle. Curology is awesome. I'm going to leave a link to the Curology website down below in case you guys are interested in trying it out. Pretty much you send pictures of your face in to Curology and they look it over. Like a dermatologist looks it over for you and then they come up with a personalized mix for your skin and your skin concerns so that is what I do to keep my skin looking fresh and like when I don't use this I do break out like if I run out of the bottle or if I have to stop for a facial treatment or a chemical peel or a laser hair removal or anything and I have to stop for a few days I definitely notice a difference so it does 150% work. Okay next up I have this hair girt strawberry and banana smoothing yogurt hair mask. I don't like hair masks. This one does smell pretty good though. Oh god, I don't know what to do. You know what, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to try it out. And I'm going to see if it's good, if it makes my hair smooth. If it doesn't make my hair smooth, I'm going to toss it because I don't want to hold on to it if I'm not going to use it at all. I gave another hair mask to my sister and I don't think she uses it either. So, I don't know, hair masks are kind of weird. And they're like really hard to deal with, especially when you have like this, this much hair. You know, this is a lot of hair. This is a lot. A lot. The next item that I have is my Seabreeze Sensitive Skin Astringent. It says it deep cleans, tingling, refreshing feeling. And I am going to toss this because this is alcohol based and it's really not good for your skin. I started using this a while ago when I saw Carly Bible using it. And she used to use it when she would get breakouts. It's just not for me. As you can see, I've used like half of the bottle already and it's really old as it is so I am gonna throw this guy away. Okay the next thing that I have is my Sephora Roll On Instant Depuffing Gel. I absolutely love this. If you see this at Sephora definitely pick it up. It's so soothing and so cooling on the under eyes. I use it a lot of times in the morning if I don't sleep well. Then I have my Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10 Maximum Strength. This is just a benzoyl peroxide acne medication. It's a spot treatment. This is the one that I'm using right now. I've used a ton of spot treatments before. I'm going to hold on to this one but if I see any other ones I will probably Probably toss them out because they're probably really old. Okay, next up I have my Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator and this helps to refine the appearance of pores, it deep cleans pores and helps smooth the appearance of skin texture. I am going to see if my sister wants this. This is too harsh for my skin. I've used it about two times and every time I do it just like hurts my face. It hurts and I don't even do it for the one to two minutes. Like I can do like 30 seconds and then my skin literally hurts. So I'm going to pass this on to Talia and see if it's something that she'd be interested in because her skin is a little bit more oily and less dry than my skin. Okay, next up I'm keeping both of these. This is my Mary Kay like little brush thing and this is one of the brush pads. I'm actually going to take this one out of the box 
to declutter and save some space in my life and pretty much it goes in here and then you turn it on and you can wash your face with it I've heard a lot of mixed feelings about these kind of products some people say they're too harsh for their skin some people say they aren't some people love them some people hate them I particularly like this one I've never tried any other ones but I don't think this one is too harsh on my skin the one thing you do have to be careful though about is making sure that you wash your little brushy thing because bacteria can get stuck in there so as long as you're washing it and keeping it clean you can sanitize it there's all kinds of things you can do to it as long as you're keeping it clean it's gonna work for you but if not it can start spreading bacteria to your face next I have one of these little brush cleaner things I'm obviously gonna keep this I love this it's got like all different textures on it for different kinds of brushes and stuff next up we have this clean and clear dual action moisturizer and this has salicylic acid acne medication in it and I am gonna toss this I've had this for so long it used to work for me and then it started breaking me out so I don't really know what happened but I did stop using it along the way so I'm gonna give this guy a toss so the next product I have is the proactive solution refining mask I'm gonna just toss this away I haven't used proactive since I was in high school which was almost 10 years ago don't tell Next up we have Intensive Youth Serum by Hydroxitone. I got this for an Ulta sample right when I was getting into makeup like three or four years ago. So I miss my bag. The next thing I have is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser for all skin types. I got this last year for my birthday and on the back it says you should only keep this for six months. So I am going to toss it because I have opened it and I like it. But clearly I don't like it enough to have used up the whole tube. <laughs> okay, next up I have the Burt's Bees Body Lotion with Milk and Honey for normal to dry skin. I'm going to keep this. I love Burt's Bees. It's one of my favorites. I'll probably put it in my little night table over there so I can use this before I go to bed. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, here we go. My Mary Kay Intense Moisturizing Cream. I'm going to be keeping, like, all of my Mary Kay stuff because Mary Kay actually makes some really nice skincare. This cream is so thick, and it's awesome if you have curly... What? And it's awesome if you have dry skin. You need the tiniest bit. The tiniest bit. Okay, three more products. So the first one we have is the Formula 1006 Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask. And I'm going to keep this because this isn't that old and I like it. It's a nice peeling mask. So that means that I'm going to be getting rid of this one, which is really old. This is my first ever peel mask. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Peel Off Mask with Cucumber. And it smells amazing. Peel masks are always weird because they're like super gooey when you put them on your face. But... I mean, it's a good one. It's just really old. Next up, I have Sally Hansen Brush On Hair Remover for Your Face and the conditioner that you're supposed to use after it. I'm having laser hair removal, so I don't have to worry about that anymore, and I can toss this out. I haven't used this in a long time. I highly do not recommend using chemicals on your skin. It used to turn my whole, like from here, like this whole area would be bright red. I understand that some people do have a lot of hair on their face and I'm very lucky that I'm not one of those people and I know that a lot of youtubers don't talk about hair removal or what it's like to have hair in your face and like I said I can't really talk about it that much because I don't have it some people have it on their chins on their jaw some people have sideburns some people have it on their foreheads if you can find an alternative to using chemicals like this on your face then you should find that alternative chemicals are not good for your skin if it is something that is going to be able to literally bleach your hair which I, I don't bleach I don't understand some people bleach and it just looks like you have blonde hair but it works for some people I mean it really depends on you know what kind of hair you have on your face and all that stuff but this literally takes the hair off your face so like what is in this that can do that do you know what I mean do you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna toss this I'm very happy to be tossing this and never using it again. <laughs> All right, next we have Buff Her House of Exfoliation, this little cup of exfoliating stuff. This is a vanilla almond. It's by the brand Crumbles. I actually really, really like this, and that's one of my downsides about having so many skincare products that I used to get in Ipsy and BoxyCharm. Like, I would put them in this drawer and then like I would forget about them because I would have so many things so I'm gonna toss this because it's old but I am gonna make a note to maybe repurchase in the future because this was an awesome exfoliator and it smelled amazing like vanilla and I believe they use like all food yeah foaming food facial scrubs they use all like natural stuff in their 
scrubs. Okay, here we go. DKNY My New York Body Lotion. This particular lotion came with my perfume that I have, which I love that perfume. And this smells amazing, but I'm not really like a perfume body lotion person, especially because I have eczema, which means that sometimes I have open cuts and stuff because I itch while I sleep. I apologize. That's TMI. But yeah, so I'm going to toss this because perfume stuff literally makes my skin burn. Literally makes my skin burn. Okay, next up I have this Anderson Lily Manhattan Beach Beach Butter Hand Cream. It's actually almost empty. It doesn't look it, but I can feel that it's empty. Almost. And I'm going to toss this because I don't need this many hand creams. I've got this cream. I have my New Kale Polish Cream. I don't need this. And this is really old. It says keep for 12 months. I've definitely had it for probably two years. So I am going to toss that out. This is a Hydro Milk Moisturizer. I have had this for about two years. I want to say maybe three. I used to use this in all of my YouTube videos when I used to like put on my makeup and stuff. It's one of my favorites, but I am going to have to toss it because it is so old. Here's my thing about ages, right? I'll use makeup that's old because I'm going to be taking it off my face eventually. But skincare is specifically for your face to absorb its nutrients for whatever purpose it serves, whether it's to give you some sort of vitamins or to exfoliate or, you know, to replenish your skin, whatever. Whatever it's supposed to do, it's supposed to do something specific to your face, which means you're leaving it on. Like you're not just putting it on and then wiping it off like you do with makeup. Does that make sense? Anyway, next up I have this Jerlique Herbal Recovery Advanced Serum that I got in an Ulta sample and I'm gonna toss it because I don't need it. All right, Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant from Perlis. This is from Ipsy. I haven't had Ipsy in a long time, so I'm gonna give it a toss. All these little tiny baby things are from Ipsy. And I love that you used to get samples in Ipsy, but I never would use them because every month I'd just get a ton more little baby samples. All right, here we have another extra smooth aftercare lotion by Sally Hansen. I'm going to toss it. It's old and I don't need it. Next up, we have the 12-in-1 Amazing Leave-In Treatment. It repairs, protects, and strengthens hair. This is by It Hair Care. This is pretty old. I would give it to my sister, but like I said, it's old, and I'm just going to toss it because I don't, I don't really know what else I would do with it. Here's a whole bunch of little samples. Let's just go through them. This is the Mary Kay Satin Hands. I'm actually not going to toss this out. It's not that old. It's a little tiny baby hand cream, which is perfect to fit in my purse or my dance bag or whatever. So I'm going to keep that guy. I have two more over there in that little night table thing, but I was looking for another one because they're almost empty. Here we have the Marcel Hydra C 24-Hour Energizing Hydrating Gel. I'm going to toss this because it's tiny and old. Next, we have the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. It's super tiny and old, and I doubt I could even use this on my whole head. <laughs> I don't think it would even cover my whole head. All right, this used to be one of my favorites, the Pearly's Pure Moist Hydro Balance Moisturizer. It's almost empty, and you can tell that it is well-loved. It's super dirty from being with my makeup. I'm going to throw that guy out. Then we have the Anti-Aging Eye Serum by Freeze 24-7. I used to use this every day. It's my very first eye product, and I loved it, and I'm so, like, proud of where I've come with my eye care. And this is the Promise Organic Ultra Moisturizing Argan Cream Facial Lotion with Olive Oil. This smells like lemons. This is one of my favorite moisturizers, and I should go and purchase the full-size product because it's amazing. Amazing. This is actually empty. I don't know why I kept it. My hair is drying, and as it dries, it grows. Here we have a pressed white strip. I'm going to keep that guy. Okay, and next up we have a little tiny face cream by First Aid Beauty. This is an amazing face cream. However, it's old, so I am going to toss it. Here we have a bottle of water mixed with vinegar. This is what I use for my face painting. Vinegar, white vinegar, helps to sterilize as you go, kind of. And it keeps your paints clean and all that stuff. So I use this mixed with a little bit of water to make my paints usable you know and yeah I just this is an old NYX dewy finish setting spray bottle that I just recycled to be a water bottle for that stuff okay here we have the proactive repairing lotion combination therapy I already said I don't use proactive anymore and these are really really old so I'm gonna toss this this is the honey drop lightweight moisturizer with it a little honey hydrant blah 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 by pharmacy so this is a moisturizer it's a tiny little baby sample I got it as a if it was a point perk or it was like one of the coupon codes from Sephora but I just got it and I am gonna hold on to that next up I have this be delighted Mary Kay body wash I'm actually almost out of my current body wash so this is perfect I'm gonna use this instead I got this for my birthday and this smells like cotton candy next up I have the pores no more vacuum cleaner blackhead extractor mask this did not work for me I didn't care for it 
I'm just gonna toss it. Here we have another Mary Kay Satin Hands Nourishing Shea Cream. I'm gonna put this over here with my hand creams to go in my little thingy back there. The Pearlies Prevent Blue Lotus White Tea Treatment Mask. This is probably almost expired, but I don't remember exactly what box of charm I got it in. And on the back, it says it's good for 18 months, which is over a year. I don't feel like I got it that long ago, so I am going to hold on to this. I'm going to try and use this sooner rather than later. Next up, I have these two Exuviant face pad things. I remember getting these literally like 7,000 years ago from Ulta, so I'm going to toss these. I have like a lot of these little packets. So this is another one of those Exuviant pads. Next up, we have this Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. This is pretty new. I got this in my most recent Sephora order. And this is an eye gel by a more Pacific. I don't know where this came from, so I am going to toss it just to be safe because I don't remember when I got it or where it came from. So, oh well. There's still so much stuff in this as well. Okie dokie. This is the Givenchy Silk Body Veil in my favorite perfume, Gel ou Dimon. I don't speak French, so that's why I suck. Um, is this a body wash or a moisturizer? I think it's a moisturizer. Oh, I'm going to keep this just because it's my favorite scent. I know I just said two seconds ago that I don't like creams that have perfume scents, but I love this scent. This is my first ever, like high-end perfume that I ever got and I had it when I was like 16 or whatever and yeah I just I absolutely love this scent it just reminds me of so many so many different things in my life like not important things either but just like I used to wear it all the time so it just makes me feel like I'm in high school again when I wear it and I like have all these memories associated with the scent so I don't wear it as much as I used to <sighs> I love when a perfume will take you back to like a specific time of your life. So I try and wear like specific perfumes for certain things. So like when I was in Adam's family, I purchased pink sugar and I wore pink sugar through the entire thing. So now whenever I feel it, I feel that like burst of confidence that being Morticia gave me. So like if I'm having a bad day or I'm having like a sad day, I will wear it and it will make me feel better about myself. So it's just... Anyway, moving on. I have the TimeWise Moisture Renewing Gel Mask. I really like this mask, so I'm going to hold on to it and use it. Next, I have the Be Delighted Mary Kay Shimmer Mist. I have not used this yet, but I'm going to hold on to it, and I'm going to try using it this summer, just like on my shoulders and stuff, and my my chest area when I'm like going out or if I'm like at a pool party or whatever. So I'm going to try and use this and see how I feel about it. I'm not always the most shimmery kind of gal, but... I am going to hold on to it, like I said, and try it out. And if I don't use it this summer, I'll give it to my sister or to my mom or something. But I'm sure I'll like it. Okay, next up I have the Mary Kay Night Cream. This is extra emollient. This is super thick. You need the tiniest little bit. This was a present, and like in the event that I have like a super dry spot on my face, I use this because it is so thick and creamy and amazing. Okay, I've got two more Crest White Strips. That's just telling me I should whiten my teeth, you know what I'm saying? This is the Garnier Clean uh, Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. I'm gonna toss this because I don't remember where I got this and it's not, it's not, there's not that much of it in this little tiny package, you know what I'm saying? Next up I have the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. I'm going to throw it out because it's old, and also, I've never had good luck with Briogeo. A lot of people love it, but it just has never done great things for my hair. I don't know. Whoa. This is, you guys, this, this is hand cream. Can you hear it? It got so liquidy and separated. I can, like, see it in there as I tilt it. Like, there's, like, something kind of thick, which I'm assuming is, like, the moisturizer parts of it and the liquid separated from it. How gross is that? Here's another Briogeo Curl Charisma thing, and it's this one is completely empty, so I must have used this up and then received it again in another Ipsy. That was something that used to happen all the time. I hated that, like when you got the same product again. And if it was something that you didn't want to use, like, oh, now I got two of them. Great. Okay, here we have my Moisturizing Spray Lotion by Mary Kay. I actually love this stuff. I use it a lot in the summertime. I lost the cap of it. Obviously, it wouldn't be me if I didn't lose the cap. It's about half full, and I'm going to hold on to it for this summer. Next we have the Ren Clear Skin Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I remember trying this guy out. It didn't do much for me. I'm going to toss it. There's so much stuff in here. I didn't realize there was this much stuff. Okay. Next up I have my Mayron Spirit Gum Liquid Adhesive. Obviously I'm going to keep that because I need it for things in life. Actually I don't use it for scar wax. I don't, I don't know. 
whatever. This is the Skin Iceland, the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion. I'm gonna toss it. This is the Crema de Mano Taco Cleopatra Grapefruit and Cucumber Hand Cream. I'm gonna toss this because this is, this is an expiration of 12 months and I got this probably like three years ago. I make good decisions like that. Okay, next I have the TimeWise Microdermabrasion Refine Little Tiny Baby Sample Thing. Now I think I'm gonna toss this because I think I have the full one. Hold up. One second. Yes, I do. So I have the full bottle and this one's almost empty. So I'm going to toss this little baby one out and I'm going to hold on to this and I'm also going to hold on to this. This is like a two step set that Mary Kay does. So this is microdermabrasion and it's not as harsh as the Dr. Brandt one. So pretty much you use this on your face to exfoliate and then you use this one afterwards to replenish your skin. So I'm going to hold on to these for when I do want to do a nice exfoliating routine. I have used them a few times. I don't use them constantly because I do have very dry damaged skin and it's just not exfoliating and dry skin don't always go hand in hand together but I will say that these are a lot less harsh on the face than the Dr. Brandt ones are. All right we've got some face masks. Let's see. This right here, this is the KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Mask. Then I have the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Two Step Lip Kit. This is like an exfoliant for your lips and then you have another lip mask. Here we have the five minute facial mask. This is a primer mask. I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one. Then I have this guy. This is the new Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair Two Step Face Kit. And you pretty much do a facial scrub and then a brightening peel. And then I have Botonic Fiber Facial Mask. This moisturizes to help the skin appear smooth and firm. I also have the Secret Garden Camellia oil, um, I can't read this because it doesn't, it's not in English, some of it. I don't remember how old this is. I'm just going to hold on to it and use it because I don't feel like it's that old and I don't see an expiration date on it. And then I have some stuff that I bought in my recent Sephora haul. This is the Sephora Rose Eye Mask. This is the Sephora Charcoal Nose Strip. This is the Sephora Rose Face Mask. And this is the Sephora, why am I saying Sephora? Sephora Rose Lip Mask. So I'm going to hold on to all of these masks. I love these kind of masks that just come in like packets. They're so easy and amazing. We're almost done, I promise. So this next item is the Be Delighted Mary Kay. What is this? I think it's like a body butter. It smells so good. Oh my god, it smells like watermelon bubble gum. You remember, um, what is it? The big fat bubble gum. The, like they come in like big squares. My grandma always used to have them. I think it was bubble yum. I think it's the watermelon one. It smells just like that. It's crazy. All right, next up I have the a PC Purifying Exfoliant. I'm going to toss this. It's old and almost empty. And then I have the Mary Kay TimeWise Day Solution Sunscreen. I'm going to hold on to this. This is a Broad Spectrum SPF 35. And I actually don't have any other facial sunscreens right now, so definitely going to keep that one. Next up I have the Naked Advanced Aloe Cream by Naked Cosmetics. This is old, so I am going to toss it, but I will say this is an amazing, amazing face product. I loved this while I used it, and it's almost empty. Then I have the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum Eclat. It's a radiant serum. It's a little dropper. As you can see, it's like half full. I've been using this a lot lately to finish it up, so I'm going to keep it for now and just continue to use it until it's empty. It's a nice radiant serum. Your skin looks really glowy and dewy after you use it, just like a natural glow. A glow from within. This is Verb Ghost Oil for your hair. I'm gonna toss it. I don't use hair oil. Now I have more Sally Hansen Cream Hair Remover for the face. I'm gonna give this a toss as well. It's really old. Two more teeth whitening things. Mama found some pampering in here. I have the Youth of the People Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid. This is a new product as well. It's a little tiny baby sample, but it's new. I got it in my most recent Sephora haul, so I'm going to keep that guy. This is the Kate Somerville Sensitive Skin Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. This is old. I'm going to toss it. I'm literally down to the very last few items. Okay, here we have the Roseberry Fig and Rouge nourishing soothing hand cream this is actually you can see it's been used it's a little bit squished it's almost empty it was really nice while I had it but I'm on to bigger and better things kids like the kale polish hand cream that's amazing okay next up I have the not soap radio uh, intensive positive luck bubbles for bath and shower I don't use bubbly stuff that's number one number two is this is from Birchbox, which is from even before I used Ipsy. This is so old. <laughs> Here we have Octavio Argan Oil. Not gonna use it, I'm gonna toss that. I'm actually gonna throw this away. This is a moisturizing cream for your face by Caudalie. I'm gonna toss this because I don't know when I got this. I 
feel like I got it for my birthday last year, but I'm not positive and I'm just going to toss it because I want to be sure. <laughs> All right. This is the Air Repair Complexion Boosting Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. I don't even remember getting this. So bye to that. I don't remember when I got it. And this is the UB Moisturizing Skin Cream. Look at how little this bottle is. This is why I canceled Birchbox. This is why. And the last thing I have is the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. I'm gonna toss this guy as well. I just like, I hate these little tiny samples. Some people love mini stuff and I love like mini lipsticks and stuff, but like mini face creams, mini skincare. No, I don't want your mini skincare, guys. I don't want it. I want your full size skincare so I can use it up and then repurchase it if I like it. But I don't want something I can use twice and then like, did I like it? Did I not like it? I don't know. And now my skin's all crazy because I'm going through like changing products. No, not for me. Not for me. I also have like a ton of chocolate hearts from Valentine's Day in here. So yeah, I decluttered and I really threw out a lot of stuff. Here's the bag. It's a pretty big bag full of stuff and I don't feel like I have too much stuff that I kept. Like I don't feel like I, I kept too much, you know, and now I have a nice big draw for more eyeshadow palettes which is awesome because like I said I was running out of room real quick. So yeah, that is the end of this declutter video. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking that button right there. If you want to see my latest video, go ahead and click right there right now. My name is Alexis and I'll see you next time. Bye!